Hello there, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Clockwork Empires once again, folks. So, starting off from the looks of it, day 15 right over here, we have some more immigration. And you know what? Checking out the options this time, it looks like we actually have the option of getting some more colonists than the usual here. If we spend some prestige to receive a whopping five immigrants, so let's do that. And let's see what we get here. We get a we get a miner, a capitalist, and two more miners, and an NCO for the military. So not bad, not bad at all. So um, a couple of were I have a I have some news to share with you guys about this game in particular, and just uh, just a few things that we do have to kind of take note of. Um, but uh, yeah, before that, I wanted to point out I, I I tried making part five earlier, and what had happened was that um, some of them some of I think the fish people attack right around now. Now. And uh, coincidentally, one of my guys got stuck in one of them. And in the end, for whatever reason, right right now, I'm going to buy some building materials here, but for whatever reason, um, our people eventually got trapped inside some of the fish people, which is pretty weird, pretty weird indeed. So uh, we'll get some copper piping, stuff like that, nothing that we can build now. And yeah, this is this is the thing um, that I was worried about. So yeah, there's a little, there will be a bit of a group of fish people coming through and they managed to like these guys they managed to nick down one of the one of the miners over here actually this person right here Cordelia right here um, and oddly enough I mean she didn't like the the game told us it's quite explicitly that she died right but uh, apparently not because for, for the longest time uh, she was just kind of floating out in the middle of nowhere really still alive you could see 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 her you know trying to move around right but it wouldn't do anything if you would just kind of stay in place so yeah it was it was it was neat it was weird but i mean hey it did something so that's that right and one of the things is that they really need to make these uh squads more it, uh, well for one they need to make it so that this panel stays exactly where i kind of leave it off last time or at least make that an option uh, but apart from that, everything should be good. So, alright. Continuing off inside the, the little world of uh, Jernon over here. We will... Okay, that's a fish person. That looked like the, uh, the herbalist there for a second. So, what should we do? What should we do? I think... I think over here we need some more wood, firstly, to get some more buildings built. So... You know, I don't want to do this too far away from the base, but I don't want to do it too close either. So I think we'll do it. So I think we'll cut down some more trees, and we're we're at that point inside the game where we're starting to run out of things to um, to grab around us. But yeah, that's not too bad. Ah. Ooh, this is actually pretty good. I want to keep the game on this map mode now, or we can kind of peek into the to the buildings. Nevertheless. Yeah, the walls are kind of glitchy if you try to make what is, you know, effectively a pseudo... I actually wonder about this. Can you put doors, like, not necessarily inside, you know, doors, right? But, like, inside these rooms here. Can I... No, it doesn't look like I can, so that kind of sucks. It would be nice if you were able to make, um, it, like, internal rooms as well as external ones. I think that would be pretty nice. But, yeah, not an option. Not an option. Okay, what are you people doing? Get back to work. In fact, the vast majority of the people should be probably doing something. Let's take a look at all work crews. Some of them are tending to things, some of them are, are chopping down things. Ah, that's right. Some of these ones, they're not... Or what? Why are they not enabled to work? Uh, I, rem I remember making them all... So that they wouldn't work in in mines. This one I remember specifying. Or never mind, the rest are going back to work now. Okay, so maybe the game just, I don't know, hung up there for a while. But things are better. So, so far so good. Our people are gathering stuff all the way over here. Second thoughts, I want these minerals too. And I think we'll nick that uh, other part of the forest as well. I want to keep some of the trees here because they are quite lovely. And in the meantime, this area will just kind of take off uh, on its own leisurely rate here. Oh, 
Oh, would you look at that? All the all the immigrants came through up here. So okay. So taking a look at this, I'm pretty sure I had one bat specified for farming, but since we don't, I'll do that right now. No? Nope. Yeah, the game still glitches out if I try to switch people around, but I guess I'll assign one farmer over here. And I'm pretty sure the rest of these three guys, they're 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 miners by trade. Um for whatever reason they don't have fully fledged kind of uh skill sets, if you will, that are displayed down here, so I guess they're they're really specialized into mining, or maybe something like that. So that uh, with that in consideration, I don't know if I can make them work the farms here. I think maybe we need some more farmers to help things out. So maybe we'll assign one of them, and then they switch back to laborers. Okay. And nevertheless, I mean, they still don't have terribly great skills, so honestly, I think we just need the um, the the raw manpower right now, so we'll get them to work like, uh, like any other group, really, for now. So, right, they'll do their thing. And it looks like the kitchen is, uh, is kind of where we need to kick things up a notch. We've already eaten through all the, uh, all the regular food. Right. Yeah, this is a a little bit tedious where we can just we just kind of have to click through all of these right so 30 units of each we have two pots for a reason so that should quickly kind of get get happening really get rid of that small farm or you know stump small farm tile we can probably squeeze in a few more kitchen ovens here and get things cooking if we really wanted to um so let's yeah sure why not we'll do one should probably build a barracks for all our troops as well later on though kitchen grab uh, one of the stone ovens yeah i'm pretty sure that doesn't impact anything there and we can get hopefully two there we go or no maybe just one okay fair enough yeah so we can get another one of those going on wouldn't be bad at all and would you look at that, we're already starting to grab a lot of the minerals and stuff out of that area. And over here, we're starting to build up all the shacks. So I'm going to disable walls for a second. I want to see uh, later on kind of what this area looks like with uh, with all, the, with all the, the shacks fully built and all. But I think that'll take some time. So in the meantime, we can get some more of that stuff made. Um, don't think we need a t I think we already have like... Yeah, we have 70 bricks. That's that's That should be more than enough. And if it isn't, what are we building, right? That's kind of excessive. So that's good. Have a bottle of moonshine too. Not bad. I wonder if that came as a, one of the supply drops. Right, and the rest of the stuff. Okay, so now that they have some more farm hands, it looks like they're finally... Uh, where is she going? Gathering building. Ah, uh, okay, so this stuff over here. I was gonna say, hopefully the farmhands have enough time to get rid of these blasted pumpkins and to um, farm some of the stuff over here, but uh, yeah, nothing happened there. Hostile fish person. They're already killed. Perfect. Yeah, food should no longer be a problem. Um, I think I'll take one of these small... Uh, farm plots and like, like we're literally being overrun by pumpkins right now so I think I'll take one of them and switch them to flax maybe and then get some more of that stuff going because that is kind of the premier thing we need right now huh they seem to be going awfully far I'm guessing it's to the camp over here yeah there's a single log and what are they doing Oh, this is a floating pistol too, great. Oh wait, maybe that is a bandit right over there. We might be in a... Might be in some trouble here. But you know, I can't issue any uh, any more exact commands, so I think we'll go with uh, whatever here. We found a body. Has the cap of a, a... From the looks of an Imperial soldier. Another one over here too. I'm guessing these were the uh, the allies sent... Ah, there we go. So the floating pistol was indeed a person. Yeah.
Hmm. So well, it's kind of nice to know that this part of the uh, the map is occupied by some people. It's not too bad. Ooh, bandits are setting up a camp. Huh. So let's see. Five bandits have set up a camp nearby. Currently, our military has orders to only to attack bandits only if they shoot first. Um, I think we'll continue. I think we just say not not, not to fire on them just yet and see uh, see where that kind of leads us off here. So yeah, we'll pursue some policy like that. And I'm just taking a look at the heights over here, taking a look at some of the different biomes over here. From the looks of things, this is, yeah, it is a kind of a badlands, I wouldn't say desert type of feel. I don't really know what's going on with the edge of the map here, but uh, that is that. And I'm guessing the further you go in that direction, now oh, there's another bandit camp, you, uh, you then kind of find the shore. So that is, yeah, that's yeah, pretty much all, the, all there is over there. Right, and there you go, third stove being worked over here. And I think she came, yeah, with the crew here. She's uh, apparently a, a capitalist. Um, apparently really strange as well. Really likes rustic design, so... Huh, I wonder if she'll be impressed by these buildings. What is happening right now? She made a new friend, apparently, with the wall. Um, fled from danger. Had a conversation, airsick on the way to the frontier, nothing new, so okay, so I don't know, maybe she's just kind of faking the, the disposition towards wooden objects here. Not seeing anything like that. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's not like Door Fortress where they, they kind of actively care about the, uh, <laughs> the things going on over there. But okay, you know, fair enough, nevertheless. Fair amount of people working over here, lots of people collecting the logs and bringing it back. Very, very good. You look at that. Found some gold. Perfect. Kind of just panned over there and immediately found it. Or immediately, you know, recognized it, which is pretty good. And here, how are we doing? How are we doing for flax? Not ready to harvest just yet. I didn't even touch this field. Yeah, they seem to do pretty well over here. I was under the impression that we might be, um, we might have, um, been worried about running out of food with all of these people, but as it turns out, no, we have uh, we have more than a, than an excessive amount as well. Right, so let's get some more people to join with the colony. I think we got Agamemnon, the, the the golden cord, where I think that's his name at least. I can't exactly read it while he moves. So yeah, you know, generic. Oh, he's actually an overseer. Ah, perfect. So he'll, ah, he's finally starting to cultivate the, the farms for the flax seed. So, all the better. Still nothing for, uh, for, 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 for cloth just yet, so. Nice to have him aboard. And that's the end of day six. So let's see. Ooh. Haven't met any of these guys just yet, the, the obelisk, obeliskian people. Haven't seen any of the uh, the cults just yet, so that's kind of interesting. And interestingly enough, we haven't seen any of our own um, you know soldiers and stuff walking around. I wonder whether or not those guys appear, but you know, more likely than not, I I don't think they're probably in the game. And right, so this guy is finally handling the pla the the flax seed over there. All well and good. And how are we doing over here? Perfect, they're getting more of these shacks built. The walls are still kind of glitchy, but hey, you know, that's um, some just something, ah, perfect, and another one as well. So I think that's just kind of something that will happen here. So we can put the walls on, and we can take a look at this uh, humble little, yeah, living quarters area. I really like this area of three houses in particular. It forms a nice, um, from the looks of it, yeah, a, a real multi-room log cabin, despite, you know, not really being one. So this area will 
this, uh, yeah, it's a little... It'll be quite a nice addition to the town. Now, moving from there, we might need to, uh... Build a church later on. Or a brewery. One would do, really. So that's pretty good. The kitchen here is working quite nicely. And how are we doing on goods here? I have a feeling our people are eating the stuff from the kitchen here faster than what we're really making from it. So let's take one of these guys. Let's make a let's put a third worker inside the kitchen here and get some more things uh made from over here. I'm going to see whether or not I can tag along another uh, another one of these uh, ovens, but it won't let me place it inside the zone, so that kind of sucks. Right, in that case we'll get five more immigrants right here. Some foresters, some farmers and all that. Um, so that's pretty good. Currently, I think I'll just try to spread out the uh, the people joining our colonists. And my oh my, would you look at that? We are exactly one person away from having a humble colony of 50 people. Not bad at all. And would you look at that? The development crew is hard at work over here. We got so many people working on buildings now. So this area should really start to, yeah, come together. How are we doing for the flax seed here? Ah, there we go. So now we're we're finally starting to have some people work on things. You know, now that they've cleared this area out of flax seed, I'm actually I'm, I'm gonna get them to stop more or less because I'm I'm under the impression it's one work crew. Uh, we're presumably two since we have four farms uh, working kind of in in tandem like that, and, and and I want them to work on the one off to the side there over here as the primary kind of flax seed producing place because, you know, despite it, me putting grow flax seed here, uh, they don't seem to be doing it, which kind of sucks. Might have to cancel this plot. Um, grab it again. And I suppose it's fitting to grow it near the, uh, the textile mill, so we'll try that maybe. See whether or not people go to it, and it looks like they are. So, I don't know, that seems to solve it. Solve the, uh, the problem there. Right, so I think we plant the damn things, and then either way, you have to wait for a while. How are we doing for commodities? We still have a ton of planks, a decent amount of logs. Um, not too much outside of that. I'll try and see whether or not we can add some more charcoal, perhaps, to, to yeah, make uh, some of the other goods with. And in fact, I think we'll make 20 units of that, seeing as how it looks pretty critical. Try to grab every last bit of the, uh, the, 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 the stone nearby here. Yeah, do we want to go over here for it? Nah, probably not. I think what we need to do here is right now is grab some more. What is all this stuff? This is just black and terrain. I think we just want to grab some more logs. So let's let's trim literally all of this. So forage, clear terrain, clear stumps, cut down. There we go. All of that. And hopefully that'll be a, a bit of a grand work that will will make it so that we never have to, or at least for some time, never have to get any more of those logs done. Yeah, so with the current amount here, we can use some charcoal for, for things. See now, the thing with charcoal is that, is it, 
it does it like here it I think it explicitly kind of states that you need stone um, to refine these goods which is weird or cool cool So it looks like, I mean, nevertheless, we still have a lot of coal, but whether or not, yeah, these two are kind of immediately, you know, into, uh, yeah, replaceable, I think might be a, might be a bit of a, a concern there. Yep, yeah, and from the looks of it, the kitchen is still working full time. Would be would be nice again if only I could add on to uh, parts of it here. Yeah, I guess I could uh, go for one more oven right over here. Would be nice if I was able to use this once. Oh, maybe the lamp. Yeah, maybe the lamp takes uh, that spot. But I suppose we'll cram one more oven in there, and that should help with uh, food thorough put for the most part. And yeah, still, nevertheless, we're floating a lot of uh, the other goods. And hey, would you look at that? We start to uh, we're starting to build up the first bit of uh, thread here. We can make three cloth bolts, which will be enough for ideally three beds I want to say yeah each and every single one of these only require one unit so that'll be good especially if people can uh, get to work with that right away so let's see Patterworth here is our is our man he's busy sweeping though with any luck he will continue sweeping that's fine too well later on when he feels like it I guess we'll uh, we'll get our first rolls of cloth going on here and uh, that should furnish a couple of these rooms out banded raid oh no so these guys are coming to plunder a colony there's about five of them we have we have like nine militiamen so yeah come on me right so let's see where these bandits are coming from over here Ooh. Bandit truce offer. Okay, we can make peace with them now. Uh, that was a short raid, I guess. <laughs> ah, and there we go. That was the first of the cloth. Right, so a few weird events, but nevertheless, I, I think that works out in our favor. This clearing effort is going pretty well, I would say. People are bringing back a lot of the goods they, yeah, they've been finding along the way. Those are starting to be fixed. Over here looks like people are farming. Um, yeah, so they, they still need a, a short amount of time before they get that done. Yeah, and the kitchen's here kind of working deep into the night. Some idle chatter inside the town and all. But overall, you know, things are good. Things are good here. So quite the peaceful episode right over here. So with all of these goods uh, and with fiber along the way here, I'm thinking maybe we should uh, start to expand. She's been, yeah, just wandering about over here. Fair enough. So let's see what else we can build here. So we have, we're, we're, at, we're actually starting to fill up uh, the, the amount of different buildings we can. Uh, I figured we'd do a chapel uh, next, and this, this I see being quite an important building inside the town. I think we'll, I think we'll make this, honestly, the town center here, and we'll make that quite the big building to make it very, very nice and all. So, um... Yeah, we'll make it a double-doored entrance, despite not truly being double-doored. That's fine. 
Um, so we can have a wooden or stone altar, and you know what? We have one single unit of gold. So now, I, I with how the map is laid out, I really don't know whether or not this will be... Eh, you know what? Best be wooden. Whether or not it will be symmetrical here. But I think we have two of those things like that. And uh, there's no actual pews, there's just regular chairs. That's not fun. No, this isn't too bad. We can get a row of uh, chairs in, of four chairs per, per tile, so that's not too bad. Oh, that's right, we should probably... Um, I don't think people can sit down inside- or no, they can, they can. Yeah, because they can access them from the sides as well, eh? But we might want to put some more- uh, I can't cancel these building orders, FYI, is kind of why I won't remove them. Or at least, from the looks of it, they have a system to remove it, but it's bugged, so I can't in reality. So I think we'll just come back here and put chairs in a, in a more spacious order. Should be probably good for some for some of the settlers to uh, yeah something like that you know nice and pretty we'll get another criminal here yeah so that is uh, yeah that's not that shouldn't be too bad the chairs are pretty cheap we could also get some church banners and things like that. And as a matter of fact, um, I don't want to, uh, well, I don't know. I don't want to over splurge on this church thing, but I mean, we do have some metal. It doesn't list it, us as having it though, which kind of sucks. And hey, would you look at that? We are over 50 people now, so that's pretty good. Yeah, we should have some metal here. Or iron, yeah, we should have uh, some inga iron ingots. They are indeed in a stockpile. Show all. There we go. Okay, I don't know why they weren't displaying earlier. It highlighted all of them. So in that case, yeah, we have enough iron to, to decorate this place nice and properly, which is wonderful news. So let's get... Oh, I don't know. Make this semi-elaborate here. We'll get two banners going on. That, that looks pretty good. And I think the, the columnists here, they're already starting to build the base of the building, so it'll be, uh, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens on the, uh, on the inside of that building as well. Now, I think because this kind of obstructs the way for, um, for ordinary colony life, I think it'd be good if we made it so that there's, yeah, there's kind of doors on all sides, people can enter and exit easily from this area. So something like that. Ah, now they're starting to uh, finally grow some of that stuff that we wanted earlier. So maybe it's just really delayed. Maybe they, 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 they understand the fact that you should probably wait until the end of that um, harvest cycle before anything happens. But for now, uh, instead, I think we'll just continue to queue up food here, get that to go. A bandit will just join our colony. We'll gladly accept him. And... Oh. Okay, the game stalled up there for a bit. But now it's good. I think we might need to... Um, add some some more people with some more ovens to the cooking line here it looks like yeah, or no we have we're starting to have a decent amount of stew still being overrun by pumpkins though I was gonna say we should probably make some more soup out of the uh, the stuff that we have there and there we go there's the church oh that's kind of underwhelming I thought it would have had a different uh, roof on top but I guess not. Mildred Gang. The Mildred Gang has died due to gunfire. Okay. That's good to know. Bandits break a truce. We'll leave them alone still. Chapel needs an owner. Yeah, we already know about the Mildred Gang dying to gunfire. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, I guess I mean we could assign somebody to to lead the uh, cha the the chapel here, and I guess we can get the. Uh, you know what? I think we'll change this to the to the upright furnaces. Whereas we're saying, I think we'll get this to to be the uh, the upright furnaces, and just have exactly kind of one person man down this this church. I I think it just gradually functions um, by itself, so we won't muck around with it too much. The great log collection over here is going pretty well. And it'll be interesting to see how this place plays out uh, inside, well, once uh, once it's finished and it actually gives ceremonies and, and all that. So I think we'll end the video here and we'll come back next time for episode, I believe, 6?